Hey YouTubers, this is Brian from Custom Fast RC. Uh, I'd like to start with a couple shout outs here. Got a uh, Rockbud43. Rock, I'd like, just like to thank you very much for all the help uh, with getting this channel started. Uh, it's been difficult. Not very computer savvy, but I'm getting there. Um, thank you again. We got Jess34753. Jess has also been there to help me out, so again, thanks Jess, appreciate it. Uh, we got 00, zero why not? Or it might be O, oh, why not? Not quite sure, but anyways, it looks like 00, zero why not? Uh, we got Chief Firewolf Borgman, James Giselle Adock, Dan P, Jimmy Z, or Jimmy G, I apologize, Jim G. Uh, RC Car Rookie, My Puppers, Matthew Welch, and Andrew Hincho. Andrew, if I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize, brother. Uh, if there's a way to let me know if I said it right, let me know. But anyways, uh, let's get going on with this video. It's my slash two-wheel drive Ford Raptor. I did use the Spastics brand paint again on this build like I did on my uh, 4x4 dually. I'm very, very pleased with this paint. It works really, really nice. Uh, adds a real nice custom effect. This is the candy blue. Uh, Rockbud did a video a while ago about the Spastics paint. Uh, kind of did run into a few problems. It's this cracked candy look. Have no idea how it happens. But yeah, I know what you mean, Rock. Ran into the same stuff and I can't figure out why. Anybody out there got any ideas, let us know. Got to figure this one out. So we can keep these uh, quality paint jobs coming. This truck was painted the old-fashioned way. Masking tape and masking paper. Nothing wrong with that way, but it definitely does take a long time. So, on my next paint job, I'm going to try this liquid masking. This is Bob Dively's. Uh, there's a lot of other different types out there. I'm going to give this stuff a try. If anybody have it, has ever tried a liquid masking, uh, hit me up. Let me know the do's and the don'ts. I'm really excited about giving it a shot. Something makes my job a little bit easier. I'm definitely going to give it a shot. So yeah, liquid masking. Let's uh, see what happens here. Well, that's another thing I want to do with this channel. Um, there's a lot of good products out there, a lot of bad products. God knows I've only wasted a ton of money on crappy stuff. You know, so I think we should all stick together as an RC family and uh, eliminate the bad and save the good. There's a lot of good products out there, a lot of bad products out there, so yeah let's all stick together on that one uh i don't know maybe make up a list or something keep track i don't know how we can do it but we definitely gotta make sure everybody's buying good quality stuff so but enough of that this is the proline raptor body there is a traxxas version of this body it looks a little bit more sleeker a little bit more of a trail truck design not quite but if you put them side by side you would be able to tell the difference um, I did go with the pro line body it's about 30 bucks cheaper than the Traxxas body still a nice body though has good decals there are some good body lines in this body 
um, with the ProLine body. Um, ProLine is going to suggest that you use their body mounts. The same on the uh, Dodge Ram body that they just came out with. It offers this type of uh, screw on, screw off type mounting. Kind of like it. Um, we all know that clips can be a pain in the butt. I've seen people scratch their bodies up real bad with clips. For some reason, the body doesn't want to go down far enough. Try to find the hole and then sit in there agitating back and forth on your paint job trying to find that little hole with that clip. So, I guess it's just a matter of preference. Not saying it's bad, just something different we could try here with the Pro Line uh, screw on caps. It's a little stub that sticks up, and uh, all you do is take it, put it on. And screw it on. And you're done. Nice secure fit. Uh, what I do like about it is you don't get that uh, that rattling noise when you're going over bumps like with the clips here. So if that ever bothered you, this will eliminate that. Uh, another thing I got going on here. Uh, this is the results of my anodizing, my first attempt. Uh, kind of getting off the path here a little bit, but just wanted to show you guys these uh, Jado arms for my Rustler. They are anodized. It is a black, flat black finish. I wanted to go with something a little bit stiffer for my speed runs, so as long as I don't hit anything, I should be fine with them. But yeah, my first attempt at anodizing. Uh, once I get that a little bit more uh, of a professional type setup, I'll let you guys in on this uh, deal. This is a pretty cool thing, and it's not really that hard and uh, not expensive at all. Basically, you get some battery acid and a battery charger for a car, and that's pretty much it. So, But anyways, I'll go into that at a later time. Uh, back to the slash. Again, this is a two-wheel drive slash. Uh, heavily modded. This is one of my favorite vehicles. I don't know, just something about this two-wheel drive shaft, or shaft slash that I really, really like. Um, as I mentioned in earlier videos, I did go with the eight-scale brushless system. Uh, it's definitely an overkill. The Valenian 3500 is definitely enough power for this uh, for this truck. But for some reason, I always want to go with the big block stuff. I am a speed junkie, hence custom fast RC. Uh, this is an off brand, I believe. I haven't heard too much about it. There's a Vicious Technologies combo system. There's a 120 amp ESC. It will be coming with a Vicious Technologies motor. This is a 4-pole 4600. Very, very powerful motor. I'll stand this truck up in the air in a heartbeat. If you guys got any questions on this system, um, I ran about 12 batteries through it already. I'm not having any problems with it. Everything seems to be good. She runs nice and cool. Um, that's probably another reason I went with the A scale setup. Uh, for some reason, the Valenian 3500s that I've dealt with have always what gear setup I use, so I decided to try an A scale setup, and uh, yeah, that temperature definitely came way down. So um, I will let you guys know. I'm still feeling I'm in I'm in the testing stage of this uh, system. So, but for the price, I couldn't beat it. Um, there's a lot of name brands out there that are very very expensive. Um, I refuse to believe that you got to spend the big money to get performance. So 
I will keep you posted on the next part of this uh, testing of product. This is at uh, ProLine Pro Transmission. Um, not sure if I'm happy with this one, you guys. Uh, right off the bat, I started having problems with it. Uh, when I mounted it, the uh, the screw holes, um, man, you really, really got to be careful. They strip super, super easy. So if it, once you get it snugged up, just give it a little bit more, or you're you're gonna strip it. Uh, the plastic that they're using doesn't seem to be a, a good quality plastic. I don't know. It's just I've been a machinist for 28 years and understand. Uh, drilling and tapping and mounting and uh, this material is definitely not of the highest quality. Traxxas plastic is hard, brittle, uh, very strong. This doesn't even compare. So, um, I mean it's handled everything I've been able to get it or give to it. You know, it's hanging in there I guess, but uh, I don't know first impression of it wasn't the greatest. So. Uh, those are the XO one shafts. I do like they got them uh, little CV boots on there. I do like those. Adds a little bit of the scale effect to it. I am in the crawlers too, so I do appreciate stuff like that. Not quite sure how strong they are, but we will find out. Uh, they've been able to handle this eighth scale motor so far, so um, if you do want to use these, uh, the only thing you have to do is just buy the uh, stub shafts for the uh, Traxxas 110 uh, Rally Low Center of Gravity Chassis Kit. Did you get that? Stub shafts for the Traxxas Rally. Change them. And then uh, they should go right in. Stub shaft is the shaft that goes right through the bearing carrier and through the wheel. So um, I didn't have my uh, act together. I do not have a part number at this time. If you guys are interested in that stub shaft, uh, hit me up and I'll shoot it back to you later on. But there it is. That. That's my, my drive train for my two-wheel drive, so um, I do have the Intigy Aluminum A-Arms. I know we all go back and forth about aluminum and plastic for our A-Arms, but uh, my thing is if you don't hit anything, you're probably not going to bend them. I might do some pretty hard bash and haven't had any problems yet that I know of. Uh, some guys say that uh, things could be bent and not know it. And it will affect your uh, your handling. So haven't noticed anything yet. So I, th I still think I'm good. Uh, what else we got going on here? Got the good old STR C battery strap. Uh, if you guys want to run the, the three cells in here, you do have to buy the extension kit. I just got it. Um, couldn't find anything on LCG two-wheel drive chassis. So hopefully this is the right one. Part number 5827X. Hopefully this is the one. If not, I'll be returning it. Uh, a little bit more. And that Vicious Technologies ECS. Kind of looks like the Hobby Wing a little bit. I don't know. Have the RPM uh, speed controller mounter mount right there. What else we got going on? I did clip the wires. I know it kind of bothers me. Having a big old wad of wires there, so I trimmed them down and resoldered them together. From what I heard, it doesn't hurt anything. Uh, if you guys heard anything else, let me know. Got my 10 amp Castle B you see in there. I don't have a lot, ton of electronics hooked up to this yet. I still got the stock servo in there. The only thing I'm really running in here right now is my gyro. Um, I did run the E Sky, the old style, the silver one. It just seemed a bit glitchy. I don't know. 
tried every adjustment in the book on that thing and it still gave me some problems every time the front end came up in the air uh, the steering seemed to want to correct itself it would come down out of a wheelie with the wheels turned and flip my truck so got that off there and tried this other one here seems to be a little bit better uh, this one's still in uh, development like I say testing stuff out let you guys know what's good and what's not uh, what else do we got going here got the NTG shock towers front ones back ones um, I do believe you should have a good uh, solid shock tower the RPMs are from what I hear are very strong they still are flimsy I think a good solid uh, foundation for your suspension system is good so I do go with the NTGs on that uh, what else do we got going here STRC bulkhead down there NTG front A arms stock front bumper I don't know I like the uh, slash bumpers especially the rear one I do like all the piping in there uh, it's just it's a real cool rear bumper I did buy one from Proline and uh, I don't know it's kind of boring so I just left this one on there Yeah, guys, this is uh, my slash two wheel drive. The only thing about the two wheel drive slash is it's always looking for something in the sky because the front end is always pointing towards it. So I don't know what it's looking for, but it's always up there. <laughs> but as always, if you guys got any questions, uh, part numbers, like I say, monitor my videos. If I screw up, let me know. I do want to deliver a, a good place to go for information on RCs. I'm not the best. I've been around for a little while. Been doing this for I don't know, 15 years possibly. And uh, got some good builds coming up. Got an X01 build coming. Um, another crawler build coming. Got the new bright uh, Jeep Wrangler four door SCX10 build coming up. And then uh, got a surprise coming up a little bit later, too. I don't know, maybe next summer. Got some ideas going on a, uh, a very, 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 very fast car. So something to look forward to. I'll keep you coast posted as we go. You know, looking to name it. If anybody's got any ideas for a super fast RC that's way different than anything out there, let me know. Kind of thinking about using the Ghost. But as always, thanks for watching. Good night.